Hello everyone, I'm Rakhi Rupani, Communications Coordinator for BNI here in the UAE. And today, the person whom we have on our member spotlight is Noman. Noman Noor represents the general insurance category and he is from the BNI Warriors chapter. So let's get chatting with him and hear something special about what he's learned and acquired in his journey here in BNI. So hello team. Today we have Noman here with us and today we have also the pleasure of Wendy being here with us all the way from training. So <laughs> welcome you guys. Wendy, thank you so much for, for gracing us with your presence and Noman, the king of all the learning. Let's get started with all the questions. But before we get started with the questions, a little bit of credit to your chapter and about your membership as well. Tell us about who you are, what you do, and what category of business you represent. Sure. So I belong to what I identify as the best chapter in the region and soon to be best in the world, BNI Warriors. Uh, I basically joined BNI Warriors. I believe I was the first member to have paid for the membership. And so I've been there from day one. I've seen BNI Warriors grow from four to 60 or 59 as of today. Uh, I hold the general insurance category in BNI Warriors and I represent Future Insurance Broker Services, a 23-year-old insurance brokerage company in Dubai, UAE. And yes, looking forward to many, many more years with BNI Warriors and BNI UAE. Excellent. And uh, Wendy, would you like to also introduce yourself, our master trainer? <laughs> okay, um, I'm Wendy Shaw. I am, as Raki just said, the BNI master trainer for UAE in Qatar. Um, I'm currently in leadership team training, so my meeting room, I'm ready to go as soon as I get off this call. Excellent. And now the reason why we have Noman here with us is because Noman's completed so many courses on the BNI Business Builder. So Wendy has a list of questions to ask Noman, so get started, <laughs> Wendy. Yeah, no, first of all, no man, congratulations. I love seeing shining stars amongst our um, chapter members and really sort of bringing in that lifelong learning. So my first one, um, curious, what have you applied from your learnings on BNI Business Builder that has impacted your own giver's gain? Very good question, to be honest. Uh, I mean, give us gain. Give us gain is a rule that I've been a philosophy I've been living my life by, um, even before I joined BNI. When I joined BNI, my biggest fear, and I told uh, Sajid at that time, was how am I going to give referrals? Because I was amongst people who were business owners, and I was only an employee. Still, I'm an employee, a solopreneur sort of, uh, and that was the challenge. So over the years, what happened is it's it's just practice. You know, you learn about giving referrals. The BNI podcasts come in really handy because Dr. Ivan Meisner, with all his wisdom, teaches one how to find a referral. What are the voices that you need to look out for? Somebody says, I have a problem, or can you help me with something? It's about educating your clients. And what has happened is over the last two, two and a half years, the kind of referrals, the quality of referrals that I have given has improved considerably. Uh, I think 90% of the referrals I give nowadays are closed businesses. So I don't give as many referrals as I used to before because they were not quality referrals. But BNI Business Builder has helped me identify uh, the quality behind the referrals and how to look for the referrals. And I'm proud to actually be one of the highest givers referral-wise and TYFCB-wise in my chapter. And I keep on challenging myself. Uh, thanks to BNI Business Builder, uh, you know, my challenge is with me. I want to be better than I was yesterday. So yeah, all, mm -hmm. all credit to BNI Business Builder, to be honest. Fantastic, well done you. Okay, my second question, there is a lot of um, learning materials available on Business Builder. Um, and BNI, traditions plus innovation, we keep evolving. So my next question is really, what is it that you've learned that you've needed to unlearn? Or what have you had to unlearn to allow you to learn? So the very first thing, again, I have to go back to my beginning. Uh, I'd come from a relationship management background uh, where I was not doing sales. I was sort of dealing as an insurance company, dealing with brokers and just managing the relationships. When I joined BNI, uh, 
I started working for a broker and I found it challenging. My first six months as an insurance broker was extremely challenging because my philosophy was completely based as a relationship manager, which was not giving me any business. Uh, joined BNI, started learning when we got access to BNI Business Builder and started evolving also with the people that I had surrounded myself with, the business owners. So I had to go through the whole process of unlearning the way I used to do business, learning how business should be done and implementing it. So it was also like a good combination of getting my ethical standards, which I hold pretty high, and merging it with the new learning and implementing it to gain success and to be where I am today. Uh, that was the biggest challenge for me. But three years down the line, uh, I continue to learn. I look at learning. I love sitting with people who are more successful than me, and I believe everyone is more successful than me. And I want to learn. Uh, knowledge is wealth. That's the wealth I want. Absolutely. Knowledge is wealth. I love that. Okay. Uh, Norman, I'm going to ask you, what are two recommendations that you have, knowing as much as you do from your, your the, spending all this time learning on Business Builder, what are two recommendations that you could share that if all of your chapter members were to learn this thing or to do this thing, would have a massive impact at the chapter level and benefit all of the members? I think the number one would be power teams. Mm -hmm. I love the uh, whole idea, the whole concept of power teams. The power team business builder presentation is around about 13 hours. Uh, I believe during our leadership term, which was in the term before, we made it a point that we are going to introduce power teams into the warriors. And I kid you not, they are very, very successful. Just been there for almost six to eight months. And I'm sure that the sky is the limit. So BNI, power teams, every single chapter should implement that. It is a phenomenal idea, phenomenal way of getting your contact spheres together and making sure that, you know, you all collaborate to grow. So power teams is number one. And the hey, other one which jump I... In there? No, sure. can I just jump in there? I want to put a little caveat notice on here. Um, so anybody wanting to know more about power teams, go on uh, BNI Business Builder, search uh, for the power teams, and it's self-driven. It can be driven by an individual member to start working and building their own power teams. So don't wait for your chapter to, to do something. It needs to be initiated by yourself. Yeah? Absolutely. Absolutely. Excellent. Thank you. Sorry to interrupt, uh, I just wanted no, to no, put anytime. that there as a call to action. And the second thing that personally has uh, impacted me very positively are the BNI Booster Series. Now, mm -hmm. I say personally because we had some gloomy days just less than two years ago due to COVID. Uh, I had reached a point in my life where for four months I had zero income. Uh, I was actually in the limbo whether I should even continue on following my dreams or give up. My chapter members don't even know that. And I was, I started applying for jobs. I mean, I had given up all hope. But that's where every evening when I would go for a walk, a 60 minute walk, and I would listen to a booster series. And you had people who are just so inspirational, so motivational, and sharing their ideas, sharing their history, sharing their present, sharing their future ideas. It is just phenomenal. I strongly, strongly urge people to listen to the BNI Booster series. Not all of them are great, but I would say 60 to 70% of them are really worth it. You might not retain 100% of what you listen to, but you would retain at least a few nuggets in there. And that is worth it. You know, that one minute of wisdom is worth listening to that whole BNI Booster series for 60 minutes. Fabulous. Okay, my last question for you, Noman, is how do you schedule your learning? What would be your top tip on how you, um, you know, allow yourself or create pockets of time to do this online learning or to listen to the podcasts? What do you do? So usually I would, I would listen to it when I would be on a treadmill rather than watching Netflix or anything. I would, I would have, a, you know, something on from BNI if I'm doing a 30-minute walk or a 60-minute walk. Uh, the podcasts are fairly easy if I'm doing it at the time when I've dropped off my kids to the school and I'm coming back home to get ready. I would basically have a podcast on. So that would give me at least one or two podcasts that I'd be able to listen to uh, during the day. 
initially, of course, I have to be very transparent over here. When we did get access to BNI Booster Series, at that time, I was in the middle of jobs and I had time. So I remember in the first two months, I actually did approximately 3,000 minutes. I don't expect wow. everyone to do it, but it's about just getting, you know, finding those 15 to 20 minutes a day uh, mm -hmm. and learning. There are, there are about 750 podcasts. So if you take out even 30 minutes a day, you would actually cover it quite quickly you know it might seem a lot but initial podcasts were only six to seven minutes now we have some 12 to 14 minutes so yeah it's just the drive 15 to 20 minutes of the drive listen to the podcast rather than chris fade so yeah excellent some great tips there thank you mm. back to Rafi. all right my only question for you Noman, would be that a lot of new members are joining we're building up on our memberships and we have grown strength to strength, hitting 700 members now. <laughs> what tips or what podcast or what learning would you recommend to the newbies who just joined the BNI family? The MAP, Member Accelerator Program, uh, that is phenomenal. And before they get on to any more learning, again, come back to the basics, come to the podcasts, uh, take it slow, listen to podcasts about visibility, about uh, credibility because what happens what I've seen is that most of the new members are in a hurry to get business but as Dr. Evan Meisner says it's not a hundred meter sprint it's a marathon you've got to be patient the real fun in the journey begins only after 18 months according to me and then you're like wow you know it's a wow factor that kicks in uh, so do the MAPs listen to your podcast about one-to-ones uh, one-to-ones are extremely important. I have my own ways of doing one-to-ones. Uh, so I believe that it should not be, I don't believe in doing two one-to-ones to be able to understand each other's businesses. I believe in doing three one-to-ones. My very first one-to-one -one is just be yourself. You know, let's not talk business. Let's just talk. Let's figure out who you are. What is your personality? Let's discuss our past, discuss what makes us. And then the second one-to-one, -one, usually I go and do it in my... Uh, colleague's office and I dedicate 90% of the time just listening to that person and asking questions and the third one-to-one -one, hopefully they uh, reciprocate I welcome them to meet with me and understand about my business so after those three one-to-ones usually if I do my three one-to-ones well I might not meet with the person for at least six to eight months but I know what the person does keep my ears open and listen about other members from my other members as well so you know they say oh you know this person does this voila, I can give them a referral. So yeah, listen to the podcast. It gives you, it's it's a master's degree in its own for BNI. You know, it helps you navigate through the whole journey. Naman, that is amazing tips uh, and advice from the wizard himself. So thank you so much for sharing everything with us. I'm sure all the members, new and the seasoned, will learn and follow all of those tips and nuggets that you shared with us. Thank you, Norman, and thank you, Wendy, for joining us today. And wish you all the very best with your journey, Norman. Take care. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Rafi. Awesome. Thank you, Wendy. Take care. Never stop learning. Never, never. Exactly. <laughs>